Hello YouTube, here we are, R.C. Grant here, <coughs> with the long-awaited TRX4M. I have lost sleep over this truck. To be completely honest with you, I have lost sleep over this truck. I cannot wait for this truck to come out. Now that it is finally out, I cannot wait to get it out of the box. Let me show it to you. I'm going to be completely honest with you, I did open it. All I did was open it and then pull the battery out, the battery and charger out, but I put them back in the box. So technically it's not an, un an unboxing video because I already, I guess I already opened it, but I never pulled the Bronco out of the box. So here we go. Let's start right now with this. this, this thing. Oh, actually, you know what we'll do? We'll do the whole, nothing fancy on the box. Still the same little crap. This is skill level one, so it's in for any driver. Any any your kids can play, your nephews, your nieces, anybody can drive this thing and have fun. Uh, I believe it has three different driving modes. Oh, I'm not sure. It tells you right there. 118 scale TRX4M ready to drive with Ford Bronco body, TQ 2 channel, 2.4 gigahertz radio, included lipo battery and charger. ECM 2.5 electronic control, control module, Titan 180 87 turn motor, quality tool set, and a quick start guide. And what you will need to run your model. Four AA batteries. And sold separately at your hobby dealer. <laughs> of course they do. Well, I have plenty of them myself, so I don't need to get them from my hobby dealer. A couple different colors you can get. They had the black, the red. They had blue, they had the white, uh, they did have the Defender, they didn't have the trailer though, I was pretty, I was pretty pissed about that, because, you know, I called them last week and I asked them all about it, and they are like, yeah, we got the trailers in stock too, so I went up there and got it today, and then the guy was like, no, we never even got the trailers, so, kind of pissed me off, and then the Pro Scale Light Kit, that was sold out on not uh, yesterday they, they sold them out yesterday so anyway there it is now they also had um these mickey thompson's hold on i'll just show you okay those tires they're actually traxxas it's a traxxas item i think they were 12 bucks a piece for the, for the pack it's a pack of two Two tires here. This is uh, eight, 9782. These are the uh, these are the Mickey Thompson Baja Pro one-inch tires. Now that's another thing too. If you have a TR, if you have an SCX24, and you got a bunch of pairs of bead locks and stuff, don't go buying new bead locks for this TRX4M because it takes the same size bead locks. So most of your stuff that you fit on your TRX on your SCX24. Sorry, I keep getting it mixed up is going to fit on this TRX4M. So your brass <clears throat> your brass hexes that hold your wheels on both 7 mm. So they're both going to take the same size hex, same size V-lock wheels. Um the tires different different size a little bit. I think the tires on these these are actually a little bit bigger than the um the ones that are on the scx 24s they're like not much bigger maybe a millimeter or two on each side so because you know because it's round so but i'm actually gonna let's see i'm gonna go get my other truck i don't know why i do this it's like i gotta run around in my house i try and get stuff now let's see i got my bronco the scx 24 bronco let's see i'm gonna compare the two because, I mean, you got a 124th scale truck, you know, and then you got a 118th scale truck. So there's my Bronco right there, my SCX24 Bronco, right? Here is the, the, uh, the TRX4M, the 18th scale. Now, let's see here. Here is the, let's see, let's just open them up. Let's just rip them open. Of 
course, they're not a zip ziplock bag, so I'm gonna have to cut them open anyway. Turn her around. Okay. No, there we go. Right, now, slice right through it. There we go. Perfect. Okay, here's the Mickey Thompsons. That's two of them. Let's see, there's the other two. Just cut them right open. So, that's that right there. They look pretty nice. The tread on them is good. Um, I believe there's no foams in them. So, I'm going to pull the foams out of my uh, STX24 tires. There's no foams on these tires. And I'm pretty sure the, uh, the tires are not glued to the Traxxas wheels on the TRX4M. So, here's your Mickey Thompson Bajas, Baja Pros. ones that come on the, uh, the ones that you buy them. They're 12 bucks a pack for two of them. So, the Baja Pro X. Now, there's the tire for the SCX24, which, there's not much of a difference. And I honestly, I think it might be the same size. No, it's a little bit bigger and wider. But, this tire on this beadlock would look pretty sick. So, I think we might be doing that. Swapping out beadlocks. But, let's get into that box and check out the M. Let's see here. Alright, let's stick this over here. Get rid of this. Put in the trash. <clears throat> Try to clean up a little bit. I, I should have done this before, like a dummy. I didn't. Okay. Now, let's get this bad boy out of the box. Alright, let's see. Oh, it's gonna be upside down here. Alright, let's flip it around. Alright, so. Like I'm saying, like, seriously, guys. They put a lot of sleep on the truck. I'm honest. I'm really honest with you. Ever since they said it was coming out, I was like, what? <laughs> and it was actually weird because it was right when I started getting into the SCX 24s, too. So it was like, oh man. You know, how am I not gonna. You know, I'm a Traxxas guy anyway. Well, I thought I was, and then I started getting into the SCX6s, and then the SCX10s, and I, man, I can't, I can't complain. I got no complaints whatsoever about the SCX, the Axial line. It's awesome. But, hey, they're all fun. I like playing with all of them. I like the Traxxas ones too, the TRX4s, the TRX6s. I like them all. I like the SCX6, the SCX10s, and eh, whatever. Get over it. Stop. Shut up, Chris. All right, here we go. There's the bag of goodies. Let's see, you got your little typical T tool, one that works even for your 10 scale trucks. Looks like you got a little uh, some spacers there for your for your shocks, and your two Allen keys. Typical. I usually just take this little tool kit and throw it in this little. Yeah, see, you can see I have one from. That's from the K10. I mean, yeah, the K10 High Trail Edition. And then you can see all my other T-wrenches in there. <laughs> Every time I buy a truck, I just throw it in there. Anyway. <clears throat> Let's see. Anything special in this book here? Probably not. Let me get this out of here. Let me stick that there. The only thing I do want out of here is the uh, the purchase for the the stocks. So I'm not gonna go too far with this this little toolkit. So let me stick it over here for now, so I don't make any uses. Typical mail-in warranty card, I believe. That's what this thing is. I'm pretty sure. Um, 
I don't know what this says. What does it say? Oh, yeah, warranty registration. Yeah. In order to serve you better as our customer, please register your product online at Traxxas.com register or fill out and return this warranty registration card within 10 days of your purchase. So that's pretty good. So if you want to warranty it through Traxxas, I would recommend doing that. But since I cut my wires and do all kinds of crazy stuff to my trucks, I, these warranty cards are useless to me. So, but thanks for the offer, Traxxas. Appreciate that. All right, now... This is the, I call this the skeleton book, man. This is, this is when I need to know anything. This is where I go, you know, and this is, this is what's going to help me out with my, comparing the SCX24 sizes and everything else to, like, you know, because I got brass, I got a bunch of brass stuff for the SCX24s as well, and, um, uh, I'm pretty sure it'll fit, guy at the store was like, oh, I don't know if that's going to fit. You might, you should probably buy some ones from here. And then, no, no. I'm going to go home first, check them out, see what sizes they are. And go from there. But I'm liking what I see already. I'm liking the shocks. I haven't even looked at them yet. The links look good. The wheel is like weird. It's like a circular shaped wheel. Looks like weird. We'll see that. We'll see that in a second here. That was the front end. Yeah, I believe front assembly. Yeah, and this is the, let's see, the chassis assembly. See, you got your typical ladder frame chassis. <coughs> That's pretty cool. I like the whole, I like the battery. The, uh, the battery strap. The new battery tie down. That's pretty cool. This thing right here, 9727. It's going to be an elastic band to hold your battery. Um, your transmission assembly. Pretty typical. I'm going to get the bearings set for it. Uh, you got to get the bearings for it. I don't see why anybody wouldn't. Um, that's the rear assembly, I believe. Yeah, rear assembly. And let's see. There's probably going to be a body an assembly for the body, too. Let's see. Okay, yeah, perfect. Body assembly. Oh, okay, look at that. Oh, wow, you can almost make it a convertible. Like, a, take the roof off. Yo. That's pretty wild, dude. Look at this right here. How you can take the roof off of it. It's like a whole separate piece. That's pretty gnarly, dude. Yo, I like that. A lot of people are going to make these look like they're convertibles. Well, because it is. The uh, actual real Bronco is a, actually you can take the roof off of it, so it's pretty wild. That's pretty cool, man. And then this is your uh, your fenders. Obviously, these are all connected, and your your rock sliders. They're all connected in one piece. I see here. That's pretty wild. Along with your body your body clips to to clip it on and off. That's cool. Oh, I was gonna get the body. The, uh, the truck holder too so it would sit up instead of having to sit it on the tires I'll have to get that it's like 20 bucks or something yeah to get that thing cool so nothing's really changed everything's the same books are the same it just gives you all your part numbers and everything and all the part numbers for whatever any for every and anything oh, this looks like it's in a different language Valenian 540XLR XL Marine? What the heck is that? Oh, wait a minute. This is in like Spanish or something. This was in English. English, English, English. Travis Electronics. Oh, here it is, right here. Let's see what that says. What is that? What are we looking at? What the heck is this right here? They make brushless for this? The Valenian 540XL Marine Motor? Marine ESC, so I'm, I'm guessing that means it's waterproof. 
Oh, 6S. No, that's definitely not for this truck. It's not, definitely not. Oh, this is for everything. Yeah, you can see. It's got, um, yeah, the full-size servos, part numbers. Yeah, this is, this is for, like, all trucks. Power systems, that's all the, okay, all right, I see. That's all the power systems you can get from Traxxas. Big block motor. The Mamba Monster Extreme ESC. XL5. What is that one? The um Oh whatever. Let's stop stop getting sidetracked here. I'm starting to worry about other stuff. Alright. Your little uh let's see. The quick start guide, I think this is yep, quick start guide right there. Quick start guide. Typical Everything, same old Traxxas stuff that you, you know, teaches you how to buy in the radio and, uh, you know, how to get it started. And I'm pretty sure you, just to turn this thing on, all you got to do is connect the battery and it just turns on. Tells you what kind of, um, charger block you should use. Let's see here, what's the, is there anything special we should know? Charge the battery pack, plug the charger into a USB-A port, maximum two amps. 5 volt DC output recommended. Okay, that's pretty much in any typical charger block has that. Um, uh, disconnect the battery when charging is complete. Battery is connected. LED is solid green when charging is complete. Alright. When your battery is connected, solid red and no green or flashing red light with a battery connected indicates an error. Okay, we don't want an error. <laughs> Definitely not. Let's see, pull on a maximum two amps. Power is on. Now connect the battery to begin charging. Battery connected. LED flashes green while charging. And then it is solid green when charging is complete. So, that's how you want it. Okay, typical Traxxas radio. Nothing's different. Just tells you, you got your little body clip system, tells you how to pull the body on and off. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good. If you have the Bron if you have the 110 scale Bronco or the K10, um, it has the body clip system on it, so you can, you know, I'm sure you pick, you can figure it out. It's not hard. I try to make it nice and easy for everybody. Um, now let's see, you got your drive mode profiles here. You got sport mode trail mode and crawl mode let's see drive mode profiles the ecm is equipped with three driving profiles so let's see oh you got the low voltage detection on this too but that's good because traction puts that on all their vehicles um transmitter adjustments you got the steering trim that's pretty much all you need for this because you're not going to be peeling out and stuff so you don't need like the gyro or the the other switch. What's the other switch on that switch? Let's say special. Or, oh, multi-function. Yeah, you got the multi-function on here. This is yeah. This is the TRX4 radio. Yeah, this is the kit radio. It has the steering trim and then the multi-function trim and then the uh, the throttle multi-function, I believe. The neutral on oh, the neutral throttle, fifty percent or uh, seventy to thirty. So. That's good. So I like it on 50 50, half and half. It's the same. I don't really mess with that. Let's take it back up here. Oh, I wonder if that remote has telemetry on the back of it. Well, we'll see when we open it. All right, now let's see, go back to this. Oh, the Pro Scale lighting, it tells you how to deal with that. Let's see, let's go over this first. Uh, sport mode single red flash allows full forward, reverse, and braking power. Trail mode. Default factory settings adds drag brake at neutral to sport mode to slow descent down hills. So, number one is probably when you're going downhill, if you want to use the drag brake, you just let go of the trigger and it probably just sits there. Trail mode adds a drag brake at neutral to sport mode to slowly descent down hills. So, it probably just obviously goes down hills nice and slow. Increases trail mode drag brake at neutral to 100% for maximum hill hold. Okay, 
No, crawl mode is, that's what crawl mode is going to be. Your drag brakes are just going to stop you dead on a hill. And then the sport mode is going to be you pushing the brake. Or just when you're going forward, just hit the brake, um, the reverse. As you hit reverse, it's going to be your brake. You know what I mean? Just slow the truck down. Because the triggers are pressure sensitive anyway, so. But, and then you start getting into uh, your different languages here. So. If you're Spanish, I think that's Spanish. Not really sure, so don't be offended if I just said the wrong thing, please. And I believe that that is it. Now let's get into the truck. Let's see. Let's see this truck. I'm gonna check it out. Now I went up there. They did have all the colors. They did have all the colors, but I picked I picked the red one because you know the red's nice and flashy. There's your radio, your battery, your charger. Let's pull the battery charger out. I've already done this. I told you. Unfortunately, I cheated a little bit. I opened up the box, but like I said, I only took the charger out and the battery just to charge it up. So right now it's fully charged. Here's your charger with all your little LED lights on it. I believe all these little dots have a little LED behind it. So it tells you what's going on. You gotta have an error, fully charged, it's charging. Or I'm pretty sure if you just have it plugged in, it's just gonna be ready. Let's see, this is my little a little charger block that I use over here. So let me see what happens. You just plug it in. It's on the left. Okay, good. Right. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. So it's just if it's just sitting there on, there's nothing on it. The red light's on, and that means it's ready to go to take a battery. And it has this the new Traxxas charger plug on it. It's pretty wild. So I wonder if they're gonna start coming out with the one tenth scale size plugs too with this on it It'll be pretty cool but I mean that's the first thing obviously you see my soldering iron right there that's the first thing I do when I get a truck I cut the I cut the uh I cut that thing on just to fit it in the box you gotta do what you're gonna do right ah, okay so there we go all right fairly long it's about a foot and a half long foot and a half wire not too bad this a uh, little warning label for fire hazard stuff warning do not leave the charger unattended anytime the charger is on with the battery connected for use, read and follow all manufacturers instructions and warnings. For indoor use only, do not charge inside automobiles. This charger is only suitable for lithium polymer batteries. Do not use any type of adapter with this charger. Do not modify or charge the plug or change the plug connector. Always disconnect the battery when not in use. Okay, so Traxxas actually warns you straight up, do not change this connector so that is your new Traxxas connector there and this, they're telling you not to cut it off and try and modify it in any way whatsoever I mean I'm a little bit I have, I'm an EM5 electronics technician so I know a little bit about electronics and uh, this is obviously a ground right here the one with the lines on it and then you're going to have a signal wire and you're going to have a ground wire so and this, this is ground, and then you're going to have signal and power. So one of these is, you know, don't know which one is which. You'd have to check it with a test light to see what's what. But I'm not going to mess with it anyway. Like it's, it's, it's the 18th scale. I'm not going to be putting big old LiPo batteries in it anyway. We're using these little tiny guys. 
But it's I like how they came out with the new system. Nice and little plug for these trucks. It's pretty wild. So let's get back at it. Now, back to the truck. Alright, here's your radio. The 2.4 gigahertz typical Traxxas radio with no switches on the top for the what the heck? With no switches on the top for your diffs or anything because you do not have differentials. You don't have portal axles either. And you cannot put the Bluetooth um, module in this for the telemetry. So this does not have telemetry in it. Yeah, at some point in time, they might modify it. But typical radio, nothing fancy. I'm actually going to mark it. That is going to be my 18 scale Bronco. All right, battery, let's get the battery out. All right, check this battery out, it's cute. It's actually a cute little battery. I like it. Pops in this one separate little box. Here's your typical warning on it. 750 milliamp battery, two cell LiPo. Typical 20 cell, 7.4 volt. It gives you your fire warning on the back, of course, just like any other battery would. Nice little battery. Configuration 2S, 1P, continuous discharge 20C, watt hours 5.5, weight 1.4 ounce, charge rate 3C, dimensions 51 by 30 by 12 millimeters. So, cool. I like it. It's not puffed up. It's nice and nice new battery. Yeah, my actual batteries. I this I got them. I think the the first or second even the second charge I had the the battery puffed up like a freaking marshmallow. It was like, come on, you know, it's ridiculous. Oh, then they give you this little warning card on the inside of the battery box. Let's see anything special in here. When I was at the hobby shop, I did take a look at the, uh, the axles you can buy because they give you the offer. You, they already have the new the axles, the after, not the aftermarket ones, but the actual stock Traxxas axles you can buy. And it's the, the same hex setup. So it's the same hex setup as the 24. So this is just the same fire warning about the whole battery thing. So just, you know, you should just read over this carefully. Just take a look at it because it does give you some good information, you know. It's very safe. You don't want to burn your house down because of a stupid battery. So, take a look at it. it can't hurt. Let's throw that over there. I've looked at it a million times. Now, let's get to the bread and butter. Let's get to the bread and butter of this box, baby. Oh, yeah. Suspension already by itself. I can feel it. And it's just super. Way better than this SCX24 box. So... This thing, baby. Look at the cardboard. Look at the cardboard. Styrofoam. Uh, all right. Bam, dude. Check it out. That thing is. Ooh, I love it. I love it a lot. Like I said, I've lost sleep over this thing. There's your 10, 118 scale Traxxas 2021 Bronco. This is your 24 scale SCX 24 2021 Bronco. Now, there's not much of a difference. There is a little difference. Not much. And it's kind of hard to tell on the camera. In person, yeah, I can tell in person. It's different. It's almost like, it's almost kind of like this is the sport version that's out right now on the road. And then this is the full-size version. So they're like, I mean, to scale, because they do have two different, uh, actually not two, but they have a couple different versions of the Bronco that came out in full-size. <clears throat> and I've seen multiple, multiple, multiple different setups. So, these roofs are removable. Um, they do have all kinds of uh, setups you can have for the actual real Bronco. They have the, you could take the doors off, you can put 
bars here, like all kinds of cool shit. I like it. I like the Bronco. I like Jeeps. I love off off roading. It's I haven't had an off road vehicle ever. I'm all about imports, and I love Volkswagens, man. But whatever. I think someday I'm gonna try and get into the whole uh, off roading. You know, it's gonna be fun. So anyway, let's check this bad boy out. Stick this off to the side. I'm going to over there for now. Just going to chill out. <laughs> I still love that thing. It's so sick looking. Tell me it's not. Oh, that thing is badass. Now, I got me a red one. And it's bigger. And it's got a roof rack on it. Look at that, huh? That one came with a roof rack too. So, I don't understand why. Axial gave me, gave me the, the sand ladders, a couple fuel cans, a water can, a toolbox up there. Traxxas didn't give me nothing. They gave me some plastic. That's it. Give me some plastic. But, what they, and another thing too that surprised me about Traxxas is that the, the cover on the rear, it's not an actual real tire. It's just a, a Bronco um, tire cover. And there's no tire under there. It's just kind of lean. You know, Traxxas, man. Traxxas usually you know, on point. Oh, the little body post is so cool, man. To get that off. All right, that's the truck. There's the body. Let's get some of this plastic out of here. The price for this truck was oh, awesome. See right there, one forty nine ninety nine at my local hobby shop. Definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Oh, look how pretty that body is. Look at how pretty that thing is. And I like it. What's better about this than the axial is the body. The body mounts. I can take this body on and off. You know, the axial I have to. It's got the Velcro in the front, it's got the hinge in the back, and it's just, it's just a pain in the butt sometimes, you know. But, I mean, it's cool. It's just a pain in the butt. Like, you know, it doesn't have any body pose on the outside, so, like I said, that's cool. But, so, let's check this thing out, man. I have been, I, like, I have, honestly, I've lost sleep over this truck. You got your front bumper there, you got your LEDs in the front. Those little LEDs are in there. Steering rod, steering, steering link here. A little, you got your servo up here. What's it mounted on the frame? Oh, it's mounted right on the axle. That's cool. So just like that, CX twenty four is right on the axle. It's kind of weird to see a, a Traxxas vehicle that doesn't have um, portal axles, but hey, it is what it is. We don't really need portal axles. This is your skid plate here. Like a little access, but no. Looks like it'll be like a little access port there. Maybe it is. Maybe you can push that out from the other side. Huh. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see in time, that's for sure. Oh, they got the hexes. Cool. Good. And they're not... They are small, but they're not the tiny, tiny ones. So... There are, I think, the 2.5 and the one, the one, so the two, the two millimeter, I think. And then, but they do have the smaller ones too, so you'll be messing around with both sizes, I'm sure. The little bumpers there in the rear. Looks a little saggy. Looks like it's sagging down. Now it's up. It's like, yeah, see, that was like sagging down. That was bad. Now it's in where it should be. Yeah, there's no foams in these tires. Not at all. Um, let's see. Oh, this is the front bumper. That was the rear. It's talking like that's the front. That's the rear bumper. This is your front bumper. This also looks like it's a little saggy. Right. You got your shock tower right here, which, which uh, it looks like it's one piece. It is. It's one piece there. You see, it comes up over here. And then it comes across right here underneath the wires, see it? And then it comes over to another shock tower on this side, which holds the other side. 
plastic shock caps, plastic shock cylinder. I believe they have shock oil in them though. Um, this is my first scratch on my, on my body. So, I, I like it already. It's got some more weight to it than the 24 does. Um, you can pick the tire up and check out your, you know, your, some your almost articulation on that. That's pretty good. Oh, a few tires are on the ground. That's pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. I really do. Can't wait to slap that battery in and start running it. Yeah, the suspension is nice and smooth. Cool. I like the battery strap for the battery. That's pretty wild. I like that. Perfect for this size truck. If, any, if it was a bigger truck, it wouldn't, I don't think it would work right. It just wouldn't sit in. Perfect. But that's good. You got your motor, your transmission right here, your servo for your steering. And then your ESC, your well, ECM actually, they call it the ECM. It's all in one. And to turn it on, you just plug in, you just plug in the battery. And I believe it's supposed to just turn right on. And then you got two plugs here, one for your servo, one for your servo, and then there's blue ones for the lights. So I imagine when you get the Pro Light Kit, this one would come out and be replaced by another one, which is cool. That's a little antenna sticking up right here. Cool, man. I am so pumped. So I, I like. I'm gonna get the glad the uh, defender too, but I haven't had a defender. That will be my first defender. Look at the look at the servo moving, and it's not even turning. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, anyway, I saw I heard another thing about these two. Another bad thing was this um this O ring on the drive shaft. If it gets if it gets caught up on something, that O ring will come out of there, and it holds the pin in. So if that comes out, your pin falls out, you're done. Day's over. Plastic drive shaft, so. But the you knew the hop up you can get uh colored cylinders. You get colored ones instead of black. And these these are metal. But there's it's sixty dollars. I was like, Are you kidding me? Sixty dollars. It's almost more than half the price for a freaking truck. You know, for a fucking excuse my language, for some for some drive shafts. That's ridiculous. So, man, it's sweet. I like it. Ugh. Gosh, I love it. I like it a lot. Cool, man. I don't know what I'm going to do for wheels yet, though. But I know I'm going to take these off and I'm going to put some brass on here. Because I do have some brass. I can. Alright, check it out. So I went and I grabbed my brass that I have for these the 24s, right? Alright, this, uh, this is the other 24, my JL, the Jeep. I had no body on it, so I grabbed it. <clears throat> This is, okay, let's check this out. This is some suspension for the 24 right here, right? And this is some more stuff, some more brass that I have for the 24, okay? And I have these two that go inside the wheels. So there's more brass. Now, I'm wondering if these, these shocks fit on the CRX4, which I think they do. They're like the same size. Let's take one out of here. Let's see. Let's take one out of here and check it out. Now, obviously, these ones don't hold oil, but they're oil. So, if you wanted to look, they are pretty much the same size. The same length. See? This is where the top is, and the bottom is just a little bit. It's just a little short, a tiny bit. So, so 
not that bad. It's not that far off. So I wonder if they would fit. I don't know if they would work. Huh. I'm not sure. So. I'm going to try, though. I don't know about right now. I'm not going to fuck with it right now, but... I'll check. I'll try out the stock suspension. But what I am going to do, though, is put some of this brass on in the front. I'm going to put them behind the wheels. Um, and I'm going to see if I can mount those Mickey Thompson tires on these these bead locks. But the guy at the hobby shop was like, I don't know if it's going to work because those are different size um, inner. I don't know what the hell he was talking about. See that lip right there on the inside? Hold on, it's kind of hard to do this. Holding the camera. Here, I can do it better with this finger. See this little lip right here? Right there. The lip where my finger is, right here. The one that's dropping down inside of the wheel. He said that that's big, and it's bigger than the normal tires, so the, the beadlock might not grab it. But he said it might not. He said it's not going to work. He said he didn't say it's not going to work. He said it might not. So we'll see if I can get these off of here. And another thing, too, is that these tires are not glued on. So I can take these BF Goodrich's right off of these wheels. And I can put any other tires on here I want and not glue them on. Because I guess they don't, call, they don't need glued tires. So I don't know. We'll see. Let's, uh, let's check some shit out right now. Let's check it out.